Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look I have right here. This is like my go-to summer makeup look. Um, I've been doing it a lot lately. It's I live in Vegas as I mentioned before, so it does get very hot here. Um, a little bit almost unbearable hot at times and we are approaching that time of the year. Um, so during those times I don't really like to go too heavy unless you know I'm going out at night or anything like that. So I do focus a lot on oil control and I do like some highlight, um, some bronzy looks. And I usually don't wear liner at all, I'll just like pop some lashes on there and good to go. Um, so this is very easy. I think anybody could honestly do that. You could skip the lashes if you're not ready to try something like that yet. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so starting off how I usually do, I got my brows on. I've already primed my face, so we're just going to get right into this. Using my Beauty Blender, I'm going to take my favorite foundation ever, and also the best summer foundation for me. This is the Estee Lauder double wear and I'm in the shade tawny and I'm just pouncing that all over my face with my beauty blender this foundation is great it stays on all day it looks great all day it's just it it's my go-to my number one yes okay and then for concealer I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape this is in the shade light honey almond this concealer is just it's fantastic I think I actually do prefer the NARS more but this one is great for coverage and it doesn't crease it looks perfect but i find less is more with this i think it actually looks better if you have a light hand and it lasts longer obviously so less is more definitely with the tart shape tape so to blend it out i'm going to take my little beauty blender again i blend everything else out first before i even touch the eyes i or under the eyes i let it set a little bit because i think that it actually makes the coverage better i mean i'm not letting it set for like 15 minutes just you know I do it last so it sets a little bit longer okay I look a little bit crazy right now but don't worry it'll be okay in the end to set that concealer I'm going to be making a mess but I'm using my RCMA no color powder and just caking that on there looking crazy as usual and that coffee had me feeling good that day girl yes okay to set the rest of the face I'm using this elf powder now this powder seriously it is amazing I I don't know what I've done without it this whole time. It's beautiful. It looks great on the skin. It blurs the pores. It's it's fantastic. It's it's just the best. And it's only what four or five, maybe maybe six dollars. But even that, like that's a great deal for such a great product. So once I have all of the face set, we're just gonna go ahead and drink more coffee, obviously, because I needed more caffeine in my life. No, I didn't. Did I? So for contour today, I'm going to be using the Hoola bronzer in my little cheekathon palette. I'm just going to carve out those cheekbones. This is my favorite bronzer for contouring. It just, it's not too warm, not too cool for me. I find that the really cool tones can look really muddy and ashy on me. Um, on some girls, it looks great like fairer skin tones, but mine, not so much. For the nose, um, I just used a smaller angled brush just to make my nose appear a little bit slimmer and then you always blend that out you don't want lines going down your nose and I'm going to dust away that powder that was baking my under eye concealer with my favorite little elf blush brush I need a new one I've had this one for too long and then I'm going to bake underneath that contour just to clean it up a little bit make it a little bit more sharp sharper more sharp sharp my my powder beard and I'll also go along the sides of my nose as well to clean up that contour as well. For eyes, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay um, Original Primer Potion. This eye look is so easy. Seriously, anybody can do it. It's so quick and it still comes out looking so pretty and feminine. To set that primer potion, I'm just going to be using that e.l.f. powder again. Looks great no matter what you do. Put it all over, whatever. And then dusting away my powder beard because I don't want it to set for too long because that area of my face has been a little bit dry lately. For um, To warm up the face, I'm using that Alexis Ren and ColourPop, ColourPop Duo. This bronzer is so pigmented, but it's so pretty. It's not too orange. It really does a nice job of warming up the face. Perfect look for summer. Um, I actually really do compare this to my MAC Give Me Sun, which is my number one all-time favorite 
bronzer for warming up the face. For blush, I really like to stick to peachy tones during the summer. I'm using a tart blush. This is, I think it's captivating. And I'm mixing it with a more orange Makeup Geek blush. I forgot the name of it. It was discontinued. For my highlighter, I'm going to be using the shades Crushed Pearl and Mimosa, which are my favorite shades from that Anastasia um, Glean Kit. And I'm also going to be using the gold highlighter that's in that Alexis Ren and ColourPop Duo to put over it. Obviously, that spray is running out. It's my favorite spray. Seriously, it's replaced all my other expensive sprays. That's the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. And once that's dried a little bit, you can still see how wet it is, though. Ooh. I need a new one. Um, I'm going to go back into the bronzer that's in that ColourPop Duo, and we're going to use that as my transition shade. This is my handy dandy M504. I don't know what I would do without this thing. It is the best for my transition shade. And then I'm taking a smaller tapered brush and just taking that same bronzer shade on the lower half of my eye. Eye. Eyelid. Eye line. I don't know. And then going back into Crush Pearl Mimosa, I'm taking that on a flat shader brush and just putting that all over the lid. I didn't want to leave it bare. I wanted a little bit of a shimmer and this is perfect to do. You don't have to use highlight just to highlight the face. It looks great as a eyeshadow or a eyeshadow topper. If you want to intensify it, as you saw me do there, I sprayed some Smashbox water on it. I don't have any more Fix Plus, but honestly, any spray will do. And I also took a little pencil brush to put it on my inner corner. And then I'm just blending out the area where the transition shade and the highlighter lid shade mix. For lashes, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Wait, not L'Oreal. Maybelline? Maybelline? I forgot. And then I'm going to curl my little sad lashes for nice, pretty false lashes. Ugh, so sad. Woo, look at those lashes. Um, this is my first time wearing these. These are Coco Lashes Baby G, and I love them. Like, even looking right now at the video, like, they look so pretty. They're just big and doll-like. And I'm putting that Colossal Big Shot Mascara on the lower half of the lash, lower half, the lower lashes as well. I really like the way this mascara makes my lower lashes look. Um, makes my eyes appear so much bigger, which you know is important to me. To set those brows, I'm using the Revlon Stylist Brow brow Plumper, I think. It's the, just the clear brow gel. I actually really like this brow gel. Um, I almost prefer it over my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. So if you're looking for a cheaper drugstore brow gel, I really recommend this one. For lips, I wanted something natural, but I really wasn't feeling a liquid um, lipstick today, so I just lined and filled in my lips with ColourPop's Brink Lippy Pencil. These lippy pencils are so nice, so creamy, so pigmented. It was a little bit too pink for me though, so I went in with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I think it's like the Color Splash lipstick. This is in the shade Colada, which is a little bit more of a brown undertone. So pretty. And that's the look. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out. And there you go. Like, as you can see, like, this, this was so easy to do. It was so quick for me to get ready. I really think that anybody can do this. It looks pretty and yet effort, effortless. So, yes. Okay, guys, that was the look. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this very easy and wearable summertime glam look. Um, I'll be having more tutorials coming your way in a little bit. Um, I'm going on vacation, so there might be a little bit of a lull in video, so I do apologize for that, but don't worry, they will be heading out eventually. Um, I'm gonna film two more videos today though, so those will be coming at you either next week or the week after. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye. Hold up.